know this is going the wrong way. Yeah. But. Hello. 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 I'm just out here giving out uh, Okay. Well, nobody can be back here, so everyone's got to go. Hey, oh, no, we we nope, this is I. I've told. We've already, oh. we've already talked to Peninsula. Okay. I don't. We no. talked to our. Okay. Talked to no. No. Sir, every time I come back here, you argue with me. Leave. Leave. Just. I'm telling you. That Hello, you're sir. trespassing. I'm just so please go. You don't know me, is she? I, just I do. I've talked to you multiple times. Well, you don't know me that way. Okay. Hey, Chris. Yeah, you know. Who else I talk to the police about this? Okay. I, he's rude every okay, time. Well, it's okay. I'm, I do my peacekeeping job. It. It, it, you know, I'm not trying to be How are you doing? <laughs> Good. You just lock I appreciate off, don't you? No, boy, yes, I'm not you trying do. to get locked up. Um, you trying to get Yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate you being kind. Boy, I thought I was doing a long time ago. This is a complex issue, and it's important to acknowledge that no one is perfect in these situations. Telling this man that he is rude every time is not helpful for several reasons. Firstly, it can be demoralizing and alienating reinforcing feelings of shame and isolation that many individuals in his situation already experience. Secondly, people with mental health challenges may struggle with communication and social cues, so labeling their behavior as rude can overlook the underlying issues they face. Speaking about someone in a derogatory manner while they are present can erode trust and discourage them from seeking help or engaging positively with others. This behavior can create a hostile environment not only for the individual being addressed, but also for others who are listening. When vulnerable, unhoused individuals hear negative remarks about one of their peers, it may foster a sense of competition or defensiveness among them. This can lead to a situation where they feel encouraged to follow suit, joining in on the verbal attacks instead of offering support. It reinforces a negative narrative about their community suggesting that it's acceptable to criticize or demean one another rather than build solidarity. In a context where many are already facing significant challenges, such negative interactions can escalate tensions and lead to further hostility, which undermines the well-being of all involved. A more supportive and understanding dialogue would help cultivate a sense of community and reduce the likelihood of conflict among vulnerable individuals. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for chatting with me. The remark made by this individual, we are homeless and have no place to go, is truly poignant and raises a critical question, where should an unhoused person go? It is essential for us to reflect on this question and explore potential solutions tailored to each individual's circumstances. Many individuals face restrictions that prevent them from accessing the only shelter available in Bremerton. As the video progresses, you will hear police officers outline the current options available to unhoused individuals, as directed by the mayor and city council. These options include the Salvation Army, jail, and a free ferry ride to Seattle, where they are told services are more robust. However, it's important to consider that recent data indicates other jurisdictions are also grappling with a significant housing crisis, which totally limit the effectiveness of these perceived solutions. By engaging in open dialogue about these issues, we can better understand the complexities involved and work towards more effective support for those in need. You guys are here. Yeah. I know. Why are they showing up again? Because we are. Oh. Because we're home, yeah. No, I was told by my sergeant that if they want to pass stuff out, it needs to be at Sally's. It's Sally's private property, like we've told you all a million times. Okay, but what if Captain doesn't want that done at Sally's? Uh, yeah, then they got to find that that someone that else. They cannot be on private property. I'm telling public sir, you, sir, I'm going to start ignoring you because you are asking stupid I was, questions. I was told by Sergeant Schaefer that. Uh, uh, nope. 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 Nope.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened to Sally's? Why did you get kicked out? Yeah. I'm waiting for the phone. Oh, that's weird. Uh -huh. There's there's more there's more in uh in Seattle, but the ferry to go over to Seattle is free if you take the foot ferry. But Bremerton doesn't have a lot of options, unfortunately. Sally's is pretty much the only option. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the options are Sally's, jail, and Seattle.